Praise the Lord, praise the living Jesus. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing today? Says a mess. I hope you're doing good and I hope your family is also doing good. May the Lord bless you and continue to be with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for, for coming out, for coming up and like opening this message. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you for your time and likewise your attention in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for another grace. We thank you for another opportunity. We thank you for another another grace of life, another opportunity of the breath of life, for another grace even to still be on earth, to still be in existence, for in continuation of fulfilling your purpose. We thank you, blessed God, for this grace. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. God bless you, sirs and mess. God bless you and God be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, there's always been this worry and concern about about our relationship, our personal relationship with God, because as well, this this topic is very important. This issue is very necessary. It is very important. It is it is it is very essential um, about. Uh, about our journey, about our race as a Christian, as a, as the creatures of God, about our returning to, to the most high God, our creator. This personal relationship with God is very important. It is mandatory. Hmm. It is mandatory. It is important. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. And that is why by the grace of God we're talking today um, and it's going to be included in the series of our message on Keep Serving God. Um, keep serving God. Follow up um, number six on keep serving God and subtitled building your personal relationship with God. Building your personal relationship with God. Building your relationship with God. Um, precisely, building your relationship with God. It is personal. So building your relationship with God. And may the Lord bless you for your time and likewise your attention in the name of Jesus Christ. Building your relationship with God. Building your relationship with God helps you in your service to God. This God you are serving, this God you are expected. And as this message began on this series of message on keep serving God, it is the destruction of God. It is the voice of the Lord, um, the message of the Lord, which came to me to go tell his people. The Lord spoke to me and said, go tell my people to keep serving me. So when you are encouraged, when you are um, asked to keep serving God now, now, before God can tell you, go tell my people, before God can say, go tell my people, then that means those people, these are the people having, these are the people in this place, these are the people, his creatures as well in general, and before you can come to him, as you come, as you are approaching him, you need to develop, you need to develop your relationship with him so that you as as you even keep serving him you need to also build up that relationship with him so you can have this closeness these conversations and as we go into the studies as we go into this message you understand more about how we emphasize about this building your relationship with god and may the lord bless you for time and likewise your attention in the mighty name of jesus Amen. Our Bible passage is taken from the book of Mark, chapter 12, from verse 30. Mark, chapter 12, verse 30. Mark, chapter 12. This is, And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. With all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And you shall love the Lord your God. That is it. And you shall love the Lord your God. Now, how can you love him? With what are you going to love him? See, do you, with what? The question is, with what are you going to love him? And he continues, with all your heart. It doesn't stop with all your soul. 
it doesn't stop with all your mind it doesn't stop and with all your strength what is love first first corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 says what is love love thou shall love the lord thou shall love the lord your god and you shall love the lord your god what is love love suffers long and is kind and you shall love the lord your god love does not envy and you shall love the lord your god love does not parade itself is not puffed up does not behave rudely and you shall love the lord your god does not seek its own is not provoked thinks no evil and you shall love the lord your god does not rejoice in iniquity does not rejoice in sin and you shall love the lord your god but rejoices in truth John chapter 14 verse 6 Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life rejoices in truth does not rejoice in sin does not rejoice in lie does not rejoice in iniquity rejoice in truth and you shall love the Lord your God bears all things what is love love bears all things and you shall love the Lord your God believes all things and you shall love the Lord your God. Believes all things. No matter what you see, no matter what is going on around you, no matter your circumstances, no matter your challenges, believes all things. As long as God has given you his promise, do not worry you will overcome this i am with you i love you the thoughts i have towards you are of good and not of evil yes you're facing challenges still hold on to it believe it the law the thoughts i have towards you are of good and not of evil love believes all things and you shall love the lord your god building your relationship with god believes all things all all things I believe this situation I will overcome I believe God loves me Hebrews chapter 11 it says faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen and you shall love the Lord your God love what is love love hopes all things love endures all things like the message titled the purpose of God it says we, we are made to understand it says endure with God have patient with God and remain faithful with God because God has not forgotten you. God has a purpose for your life. God has a purpose for you. Love endures all things. Love never fails. And thou shall love the Lord your God. And thou shall love the Lord your God. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And you shall love the Lord your God. Now, I, I got the, I had to like go like, what is the meaning of all this? If we have to love the Lord our God with a heart, with a soul, with a mind, and with a strength, with a strength, like, how, why do we have to go through all this? Then, I had to like go check like the dictionary meaning okay let's start from love it says love the the full meaning of love is late it says it's a strong affection 
a profound or a caring affection towards someone. Now, remember, all this character, all this meaning, all this trans translation is referring is towards God, the Most High God. Now, it says, affectionate. It says, it's, it's cares for all the people and beings and for their well-being. And thou shalt love the Lord your God. Okay, now, what about the heart? It says, art, emotion, kindness, moral efforts. It says, the seat of affections or sensibility, collective or, or separatively, as love, aid, joy, grief, courage. With the heart, the seat of affection, emotions, kindness, moral efforts. What about soul? It says, so the spirit or essence of anything, life, energy, an individual life, a person, especially among many other. What about the mind? It says, mind, the ability to be aware of things. Mind, the ability to remember things, the ability to focus the thoughts. Judgment, opinion, or view, desire, intention. What about the strengths? It says the quality or degree of being strong, the intensity of a force or power, the strongest part of anything, of something rather, a positive attribute. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus, thou shall love, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Building your relationship with God. It is very important. There is a book out there titled The Life of a Christian, Volume 1, by Adewale Adewusi. The life of a Christian. It is very important. You can you can search for it. Probably there should be a link that's going to be attached to this um, video for you to be able to find it. To have easy access to it. It is very and it's focused about. It says um, your 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 relationship with God. Chapter four. Your relationship with God. Please try to go look for it and get it. It is very important. Building your relationship with God, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your acts, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all with all your strengths. May the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your your relationship with God, your relationship with God, build it. And, and looking at all these characteristics of art, of, of soul, of mind, of, of strength, the, the, the common thing is, is like, it's about your being, you yourself, your personality. It means like this quality, this emphasis about your, your judgment, your thought, your focus, your care, you have to bring all this in your strength. You have to use them towards God. You have to use them to serve God. You have to use them to, 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 to show concern about God's desire. And the, the, the meaning of love, God, love believes all things, hope all things, no matter your circumstances, no matter what is going on around you. Keep closer to God. Love God. Seek God more. And finally, even our Bible passage, finally, it's, it's taken from James chapter 4, verse 8. It says, draw near to God. It says, draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Building your person, your relationship with God. You have to have that desire. Love, the desire. Affection. Mind. That's, that's thoughts. That, that, that mind, focus, the ability to focus one's thought, that strength, the, 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 the character of being strong, one's personality. You have to make use of all this quality to love the Lord your God. 
building your relationship with God. I pray may the Lord bless you with more understanding in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And likewise, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Building your personal relationship with God. You know, now, after, after practicing you, your love towards God, now, how you can exercise it now is like also now showing it's like a student when you when you when you graduate um, achieve a career or profession you you go for internship you go for IT to, to exercise to gain more understanding practical aspects now this loving your neighbor now is a way of you demonstrating and you serving God, your commitment to God's service as well is a way of demonstrating all this, this showing your love towards God. And also when you are in circumstances, challenges, that character meaning of love which we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 downwards, saying love, love all things, believe all things, endure all things. Love never rejoices in, equi in iniquity, in sin, but rejoices in truth. Ex exercising those things is a way of you demonstrating this, like you going for the internship, now going on practical aspects of what your love is towards God. That is how you can build your personal relationship with God. And drawing closer to him because God is so God himself is ready to have this relationship with you he loves you as his creatures he wants you that is why he had to go to the extent of giving up his son Jesus Christ to die for us so that we can come closer to him he says come to me come to me all you that are labor and every lady and I will give you rest God himself also wants us to come to him and that is why Jesus Christ even as the message the purpose of God it says it says like God's purpose that's why Jesus was going through stress it was still in alignment with God's purpose for his life So building your personal relationship with God. God is interested. God wants it to happen. So by you now, it, it, by you coming to, to also have the same desire, and that is our love plays. You love someone so much. This person is expected, you expect this person to love you in response, and that is how it can work. The relationship can work. Hmm. That is how the relationship can work. If, if it's only God that loves you and you don't show that love back, you don't try to say, I want to also work to love God, to serve God, to demonstrate God, to endure my pain, that regardless of what I'm going through, I'm still going to love God. Except that. You have to manifest that. That's how the relationship can work. I pray may the Lord help you to understand. So may the Lord give you that grace. Even as you desire to build your relationship with God, may the Lord give you the grace to establish that relationship with Him. In the name of Jesus, build in your relationship with God. Follow up number six on keep seven God. Building your relationship with God, and may the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for your time and likewise your attention. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And likewise, love your neighbor as yourself. Building your relationship with God. Follow up number six. Um, keep serving God. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Look up to that book um, titled The Life of a Christian, Volume 1 by Duala Adewusi. 
and look for the chapter 4 which focuses about your relationship with God please I encourage you please look for that book by the grace of God it will be a blessing to you by the grace of God it is a blessing it is a blessing just look for it uh, may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ I recommend it to you please look for it and the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ desire draw near to God James chapter chapter 4 verse 8 draw near to God and God will draw near to you because he also desire to have the personal relationship with you building your relationship with God and God bless you thank you enjoy your day amen